I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Welcome back to another Webtoon Artist Rambles video. Today's ramble is coming from a comment from a 17 year old passion drawing Webtoon aspiring webtoon artist you you know what i'm trying to say it's a 17 year old who has a passion for drawing and they want to do comics and they ask me some really good questions and i'm going to share those with you and we're going to ramble about that today yes they said as someone who wishes to create a future comic i'd like to ask you how much you earn no numbers but just like a rough estimate by publishing it on webtoon that's the first question very good question let me show you how much i earned on webtoon i have over half a million views over 23,000 subscribers and i'm posting on webtoon canva not the webtoon original platform i'm not contracted under there i don't have a contract i'm just posting on the free publishing platform same thing with the past publishing on their free publishing platform so this is how much I earned with Webtoon Canvas ad revenue program. As of 2023, I believe they had ended their creator fund, which is basically they gave you a payout depending on how much, depending on like a benchmark of how many page views you got. They ended that program. So what I'm making money from right now on Webtoon Canvas's platform is through their ad revenue program. So I have been publishing my comic on their Webtoon Canva platform from 2019 and I fi finished publishing um, on 2021 and now it's 2023, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So here's how much I made <laughs> with over half a million views, 23,000 subscribers, 25, I can't remember, and five years of work. Let me show you how much I made. Here's my webtoon, Catch You Fight Me, Love Me. I'm going to go to their ad sharing program. Now, as for 2019, all the way up to 2023, I have made a total of $80 you, on their ad revenue program. If you want to know how do I apply for the ad revenue program, here's their instructions. Or you can just click right here, Creator 101, and there's more information there. I don't want to dive into that in this video, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to basically read this to you. <laughs> But that answers the first question. How much did I make publishing on Webtoon platform? Again, I'm a Canva creator. I am not at Originals. I am publishing on their free publishing platform. I'm not contracted with them. This is how much I made with their ad revenue program. This is my Webtoon, Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. This is how many views I have. This is how many subscribers I have. And this is my rating. And this is how many episodes I have. 19. Their next question was, I'd like to ask how much you earn by publishing it on Webtoon, then by publishing it as a book, then with YouTube. Do you struggle? Now, when it came to their question, do you struggle, I did have to ask them for clarification because the word struggle is different depending on who you are speaking to. And since for me, I'm autistic, I don't think in generalization, <laughs> That that's a social cue or, or a social norm that is hard for me to pick up on because that's like saying there's only one marble <laughs> and I'm speaking to this one marble and I'm like, but there are many other different marbles. Which marbles specifically are you talking about? There's the marbles that have the, like the little things in the center of them and then there's the opaque marbles and then there's like the little tiny little jack marbles that are bouncy, you know? So I had to ask them for like a specific, what do you mean by struggle? Because what is a struggle for me might not be a struggle for someone else, but um, what isn't a struggle for me might be a struggle for someone else. So I need specifics. Let me read what they had said. When I say effort, this is what they're saying. When I say effort, I mean, let's imagine you don't earn enough money to live with your comic. So do you have to create a YouTube channel to help yourself? For me, in order to make money with my comic, that means I have to sell my comic. In order to sell my comic, I have to have someone to buy my comic. In order to have someone to buy my comic, that buyer has to be aware of my comic. Since I am not a well-known name, a well-known brand, being I can't walk up and someone's like, oh my God, Beyonce. No one's gonna be like, oh my gosh, Shireen. <laughs> no one knows of me. I'm not a name brand. I am just a 30 plus year old. I'm, well, I think I'm turning 34 this year. I can't remember, but I'm in my 30s. I'm a mom of three. I have autism, anxiety, depression, and a memory disorder. I'm just your chaotic average just woman. <laughs> So since no one knows of me, I'm not well known, I still have to market. Meaning if I wanna make sales, 
I'm choosing to market because I noticed that when I do market, I do make sales. So I just repeat that since I'm getting, since, since it's working, since me marketing, since me making YouTube videos, TikTok videos, me making blog posts, me doing Twitter posts, me posting on Facebook, Instagram, and posting on Pinterest helps me to be noticed by my target audience, the buyers who I feel would be interested in my book, then purchase my book. I continue to do those things that's going to lead to that. Does it make, did, did I explain that good enough? So, so yeah, I, that, that is, if you consider, hey, you know, do you have to do the marketing part, that effort, of, if you consider it effort, as in, hey, are you marketing your stuff? And if you don't market your stuff, are you not making sales? So if I don't market my stuff, yeah, I'm not making sales. I don't have, Webtoon Canva isn't pushing my stuff. I don't have a publisher to push my stuff. I don't have like a marketing team that's outside of me pushing my stuff. I have to push it myself. So yes, I, I had to put in that effort myself to get sales. Um, I know there are some creators who would prefer just to draw and post and make money that way. That's not something that I do, but that's not to say it's not possible because I, I, there's millions of people in this world. I'm sure there's someone who's just posting and getting money like that. So I'm not about to say you can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. Everyone's situation. It might be a possibility. It might not. I don't know. But this is what I'm doing. I'm posting it, I'm marketing it, and then I'm drawing. And I just repeat that cycle. So marketing helps me make sales. If no one knew about my stuff, no one would buy it. <laughs> so yeah, so it, it is an effort for me. And I think that's also another thing. I think a misconception that I had when I was like first starting out, I thought that, oh, if I post just on this webcomic platform, I'm going to get my two week paycheck like I would if I was working at a nine to five. That's not the case for me. <laughs> I don't get paid like that. I make money with their ad revenue program. I make money with book sales. Me posting on Webtoon, Canva, to pass, whatever other platform, I don't get like a weekly paycheck from them. Again, I'm not contracted with them. So that's not my testimony I can give. But I do have a nine to five job to help pay for the bills <laughs> so that I can continue on marketing my work, creating my work. And then my goal is for one day it to bring in enough income for me to where all of that effort pays for my bills. But right now, all of everything I'm doing right now, it still hasn't hit that benchmark to where I can just strictly do this alone and I can quit my nine to five. I'm still working full time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just my situation. There are people who are able to make a living with their stuff. So don't feel like, oh, it's hopeless. She's not doing it. It's impossible. That's just not true. Just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean there's not someone else out there who's doing it. You know? So, yeah, my situation's a different one. I'm, I'm one of those artists who <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a story to where I'm, I've been doing this since 2012. <laughs> Post, I've been doing it like official since 2012, even earlier than that, honestly. And I still haven't reached that point, not because it doesn't work, but because that's just my situation. There are some people who got, who reached that level to where they're making an, a living after a certain amount of years. I'm talking a lot. I am rambling a lot. Let me get back to focus. Just because this is how my situation currently is, doesn't mean that this is what your situation will be. I'm just sharing my side. There are others who have succeeded at a faster pace and who are doing the thing. So go, why aren't you doing that? I don't know, I don't know. Don't ask me those questions. I'm just vibing. I'm just enjoying the journey. <laughs> Am I crying sometimes? Of course, cause I'm emotional. But I'm gonna have fun nonetheless cause we are gonna be chaotic over here. Dolulu 2023. So they had asked, well, they had said, I don't understand how it's possible to make a normal living like you by creating romance comics. Let me show you how much money you can make publishing on different platforms like Ingram Spark, Amazon KDP, and Lulu.com. Let's go ahead and look at their calculator and that way you can see how much you can make selling like one book. So say for instance, you have a comic book and it's $33, 333 pages. <clears throat> And your goal is you want to make $4,000 every two weeks. Let's do some calculations here. 
4,000, divide that by 33, you would need to sell at least 121 copies to make $4,000 in two weeks. So let's jump on over to Ingram Sparks calculator, Amazon KDP's calculator, and Lulu.com's calculator. And let's see how much money we can make per book. Here's Ingram Sparks calculator. So let's say the trim size of your book is six by 10 or 6.625 by 10. It's black and white, paper quality is 70, it's a paperback, gloss finish, 333 pages, and you're selling it for $38.86. Well, we can cover like wholesale stuff later. This is beginner stuff. I don't want you guys overwhelmed. If you want more about like what's all this, ask those in the comments below. We can cover that in another video. But for now, we'll just set that to zero. So the cost to print will be $12.75. The money you make will be $26.11. You sell it for $38.86, you can make $26.11 using Ingram Spark. Now, here's Amazon KDP. They just said paperback, so it, I guess the trim size is irrelevant, but here's how much you can make for a black and white interior with white paper, 333 page count, and a list price of $38.86. You can end up making $18.47. The printing cost for this though is a lot cheaper than it is on Ingram Spark. So currently Amazon KDP has a lower print cost, but the royalties you get back for that book that you sold is a lot less. Eight, well, not a lot less, it's not that much. Let me just be real. $18 is still good to me, but for other people, they might be like, oh my God, it's so low. So anyways, the royalty that you make from Amazon KDP selling books on there, that same amount, $38, you make $18. Now, with Lulu making a comic book with the same print size, six by 10, 333 pages, black and white premium, paper quality, seven, number seven, whatever that means, paperback, glossy. If you were to sell it on their platform, your revenue would be $15.54. So if you wanted to sell it on Amazon KDP and you wanted royalties from that, your royalties would be $18.47. If you wanted to have Ingram Spark, it'll be $26.11. If you just wanted to just sell directly through Lulu, you could make $15.54 with royalties. So hopefully that information helps. Hopefully that information helps. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> I just wanted to share that. So feel free to like leave a comment down below if you have more specific questions or if you're like, hey, what's the distribution stuff? Leave a specific comment. I'm autistic, you guys. I need specifics. I'm not gonna know what you mean. And if you say like tips, I'm gonna have to Google how, what what, what, are the, what does this mean when they ask for tips? I'm gonna have to Google it to try to figure out what like exactly the specifics. Like, e I need specifics like break it down like what is the specific challenge you are facing and what goal are you trying to reach and have your question be that this is my goal this is a challenge this is my question based off of my goal and my challenge <laughs> try to like do it like that you know or else I'm I'm just gonna just google and try to help I don't know but yeah if that's enough that's enough I rambled enough so make sure you subscribe if you want to hear more of my rambles. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Guys, I'm tired. I need sunshine. Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine with the sun's god. Something, something, would they go away? Ain't no sunshine with the sunshine's god. It's always gone too long. It's time something something away. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs>